Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on multiplying fraction. So what are the coverage of this lesson? Number one, we are going to talk about how to multiply fraction by another fraction. The number two, multiplying fraction by a whole number. Third, multiply whole number by a mixed number. And lastly, we are going to multiply mixed number by another mixed number. So let's get into it. For example, how to multiply fraction by another fraction. So what is the general rule in multiplying fraction? If you are going to multiply fraction, you simply multiply both numerator and both denominator. So for example, 1 over 8 times 4 over 7. So the rule is, we simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So that is 1 times 4 over 8 times 7. Now, in this case, we can cancel 4 and 8. So 4 and 8 are divisible by 4. So therefore, 4 becomes 1 and 8 becomes 2. So therefore, we have 1. Multiply by 1 over 2 multiplied by 7. So the answer here is 1 times 1 is 1 over 14. So this will be our final answer. What about number 2? 1 half times 2 third times 3 over 4. So again, we simply multiply all the numerators and all the denominators. So we're going to have 1 times 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 times 4. So in this case, we can cancel both 2 and 3. So we're going to have here 1 over 4. So this will be our answer, 1 fourth. What about number 3? Go ahead and multiply this fraction. So that's 5 over 12 times 2 over 8 times 4 over 15. So let us multiply the whole numerator and the whole denominator. So we have 5 times 2 times 4 over 12 times 8 multiplied by 15. So what are the numbers that we can cancel from numerator and denominator? So let us cancel 15. Because 15 and 5 are divisible by 5. So 5 becomes 1 and 15 becomes 3. That is 15 divided by 5 is 3. What else? So let us cancel 4 and 8. 4 becomes 1 and 8 becomes 2. Because 4 and 8 are divisible by 4. Then 2 and 12. So 2 becomes 1. 12 becomes 6. So therefore, we have 1 times 1 times 1 over 6 times 2 times 3. Therefore, our answer here is 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 over 6 multiplied by 2 times 3. That is 36. So this will be our answer. So this time, we are going to multiply fraction by a whole number. So what is the rule in multiplying fraction by a whole number? For example, 25 times 3 over 5, we simply multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction and then copy the denominator. So let's have 25 times 3 over 5. You can multiply 25 times 3 and then divide by 5, or you can simplify 25 and 5, because 25 and 5 are divisible by 5. So 25 becomes 5, 5 becomes 1. Therefore, we have 5 multiplied by 3 over 1. So 5 times 3 over 1, that is 15 over 1, or simply 15. So 15 is our final answer. What about number 2? 20 times 3 over 5 times 4 over 15. We simply multiply the whole number and the numerator of the fraction. So we have 20 
times 3 times 4 over 5 times 15. Now, what are the numbers that we can simplify from numerator and denominator? So we can simplify 20 and 5. Because 20 and 5 are divisible by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 5 becomes 1. And then, 3 and 15. 3 and 15 are divisible by 3. 3 becomes 1. And 15 becomes 5. So therefore, we can write our answer as 4 times 1 times 4 over 1 times 5. 4 multiplied by 1 times 4, that's 16. Over 5 times 1 is 5. Since we have 16 over 5, we must write our answer in simplest form. 16 divided by 5, that is 3. The remainder is 1 over 5. So the final answer is 3 and 1 over 5. What about number 3? 10 times 5 over 8. So multiply the whole number by the numerator that is 5 over 8. You can multiply 10 by 5 and then divide by 8. Or you can simplify 10 and 8. Because 10 and 8, the greatest common factor is 2. So 10 becomes 5 and 8 becomes 4. So 5 times 5 is 25, and then we have 4. 25 divided by 4, that is 6. The remainder is 1 over 4. So the answer is 6 and 1 fourth. Now, let's have another example. Let's multiply whole number by a mixed number. So what is the rule in multiplying whole number and mixed number? First, we must write the whole number and then we are going to convert the mixed number into improper fraction. So that is 2 times 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 plus 1, that is 7 over 2. Then, multiply the whole number by the numerator, that is 2 times 7 over 2. 2 times 7, then divide by 2 or simply cancel 2. So the answer is 7. What about number 2? 4 times 5 over, or 4 times 5 and 1 over 8. So we have here 4 times change mixed number into improper fraction. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41 over 8. And then, Multiply 4 times 41 over 8. If you find any difficulty in multiplying larger number, you can always simplify your answer whether if it's a numerator or denominator. So we're going to have 4 over 8, that is 1 over 2. So we have here 1 times 41 is 41 over and then, to write our answer, 41 divided by 2, that is 20 and 1 half. So this will be our final answer. What about number 3? Go ahead and find the product of this fraction. 8 times 2 and 1 half, that is 8, times change 2 and 1 half into improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. That is 5 over 2. And then 8 times 5 over 2. 8 times 5, that is 40 divided by 2, is 20. Or you can divide 4, 8 by 2, that is 4, times 5 is also 20. So 20 is our final answer. What about the last example? So let's have multiplication of mixed number by a mixed number. So de definitely, we are going to change the mixed number into improper fraction in order for us to find the product of this fraction. For example, 4 and 2 thirds times 5 and 1 fourth. 3 times 4, that is 12 
plus 2 is 14 over 3 times 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21 over 4 and then multiply both numerator and both denominator 14 times 21 over 3 times 4 and then let us simplify our answer we can write the lowest term of 21 and 3 21 and 3 are divisible by 3 21 becomes 7 3 becomes 1 also 14 and 4 are divisible by 2 so 14 becomes 7 and 4 becomes 2 7 times 7 is 49 over 2 times 1 is 2 so the answer is 49 divided by 7 is 24 and 1 half what about number 2 8 and 2 third times 2 and 1 half so let us change 8 and 2 third into improper fraction 3 times 8 that is 24 plus 2 that is 26 over 3 times 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 that is 5 over 2 then let's multiply 26 times 5 over 3 times 2 so 26 and 2 can be written as 13 over 1 because 26 and 2 are divisible by 2 so 26 becomes 13 2 becomes 1 so we're going to have 13 times 5 is 65 over 3 times 1 is 3 now 65 divided by 3 that is 21 the remainder is 2 over 3 so this would be our final answer 21 and 2 third what about the last example go ahead and find the product of this fraction 5 and 1 fourth times 4 and 2 third so we have 5 or 4 times 5 that is 20 plus 1 that's 21 over 4 times 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 that's 14 over 3 and then 21 times 14 over 4 times 3 now what are the numbers that we can simplify from numerator and denominator so let us simplify 3 and 21 because 3 and 21 are divisible by 3 21 becomes 7 3 becomes 1 also 14 and 4 it's all, it is divisible by 2 14 becomes 7 4 becomes 2 so we're going to 7 times 7 over 2 times 1 7 times 7 is 49 over 2 times 1 is 2 so the final answer is 49 divided by 2 that is 24 and 1 half so this would be our final answer so i hope you learned from this video always remember whenever we multiply fraction we must multiply numerator and numerator and denominator to denominator